Hello students and welcome to Sorbs's classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to discuss about the syllabus of uh, MSTAT. Now the syllabus is quite new and uh, the, we are going to talk about the latest notification of the syllabus and the examination is going to be held quite soon so you need to know the updated syllabus as well as the pattern. So let us start. We have already discussed about the pattern of this examination, the latest one in one of our previous videos. So in today's class we are going to discuss only about the syllabus as well as about the crash course that we are offering at Sorobsis classes. So let us start the class. Let us start with the test code that is PSA for objective type and PSB for short answer type. Now this is the syllabus for 2022 updated one. Starting with mathematics, we have arithmetic, geometric and harmonic progressions, then uh, trigonometry, two dimensional coordinate geometry, straight lines, circles, parabolas, ellipses and hyperbolas. Then you have elementary set theory functions and relations then elementary combinatoric uh, permutations and combinations then binomial and multinomial theorem then we have theory of equations complex numbers and de moivre's theorem then we have vector spaces determinant rank trace and inverse of a matrix then system of linear equations is there Eugen values and Eugen vectors of matrices and limit and continuity of functions of one variable is there. Then differentiation and integration, then applications of differential calculus, maxima and minima is also there. Moving over to the section of statistics and probability, we have notions of sample space and probability, then combinatorial probability, then conditional probability and independence. Then Bayes theorem, random variables and expectations, then moments and moment generating functions. Then we have standard univariate discrete and continuous distribution, then distribution of functions of a random variable. Then, then we have distribution of order statistics. Then we have joint probability distributions, then marginal and conditional probability distributions. Then we have multinomial distribution, bivariate normal and multivariate normal distributions. Then we have sampling distributions of statistics. Then we have statement and applications of weak law of large numbers and central limit theorem. Then we have descriptive statistical measures. Pearson product moment correlation and Spearman's rank correlation then simple and multiple linear regression. Then we have elementary theory of estimation. Then unbiasedness minimum variance is there then sufficiency is there. Then we have methods of estimation like maximum likelihood method, method of moments, then tests of hypothesis like the basic concepts and simple applications of name and Pearson lemma, then confidence intervals, inference related to regression, then basic experimental designs such as CRD, RBD, LSD and their analysis. Then ANOVA, elements of factorial designs, then conventional sampling techniques is there, SRSWR or SRSWOR including the stratification. Next we are going to talk about the important topics that you need to focus a lot on. Okay, so here in mathematics portion you have permutations and combinations, binomial and multinomial theorem, then theory of equations, complex numbers and de Moivre's theorem, then you have vector spaces, limit and continuity of functions of one variable, then you have differentiation and integration and applications of differential calculus, maxima and minima. Next we are going to discuss about the important topics that are there in statistics and probability portion. Here we have random variables and exceptions, then moments and uh, moment generating functions, then we have marginal and con conditional probability distributions, then you have multinomial distributions, sampling distributions of statistics, statement and applications of weak law of large numbers. Then you have central limit theorem, then you have tests of hypothesis, the basic concepts and the simple applications of the name and Pearson lemma. You need to know all these applications and concepts, then confidence intervals, 
Then inference related to regression, the basic experimental design such as CRD, RBD, LSD and analysis. Then you have ANOVA, elements of factorial designs and so on. Now that was the discussion about the important topics as well as the syllabus. Now talking about the crash course that we are offering at Sorbs's classes. Now this crash course is providing you with solve study materials and also three sessions per day including a live session. Obviously a recorded lectures portal access would be provided to the students 24 into 7 and also a problem oriented session and the doubt clearing session. So you are getting three sessions per day. It would be online sessions and you can provide all your doubts in the doubt clearing sessions. We will solve it. And secondly, we are going to solve the past five to seven years question papers and we are going to make you practice. Thirdly, we are going to provide you with PDFs which will include all the important highlights of the examination that you are going to give. Like uh, it can be formulas, it can be important uh, notes, all those in the form of PDF would be provided. And uh, if you want to enroll in our, in our crash course, you can definitely go over to the website which is displayed on the screen or you can also contact us in the numbers provided. You can also check the description box for more details and uh, do enroll with us so that we can just help you out in your preparation. Apart from all these, uh, we are also providing you with uh, worksheets after every session, like after every class, so that we can just test how much you paid attention to our classes and you have to fill it up, you have to submit it. And uh, we will also provide you with mock test facilities. Now mock tests would be automated. You have to go to Google, fill up the Google forms and then you will have to give the mock test. Now mock tests uh, duration would be a, a particular time and after that duration your examination sheet will, will be like submitted on its own. It would be automated uh, submission. So you have to provide your answers online and that's it. That was all about the crash course that we are offering. If you want to join it, then do um, call us or go over to the website and fill up the enrollment form. That was all about today's class. We are going to meet once again in our next classes.